What's up everybody? It's Jay Brown here. It's been a while since you last saw me. I guess my hair grew a little. But anyway, I'm here to make an important announcement. And you might notice that I'm doing this without my Make Reality Great Again hat on. And the reason for that is what I'm about to announce is not reality, not at all. No, no, no. It's fiction. But it is fiction that somehow relates to reality and I'll tell you just what I mean. So as I'm recording this on Saturday the 19th of March, Saturday afternoon, right before qualifying is about to get underway for the new Formula One season, have you noticed that auto racing isn't the same as it used to be and it hasn't been for a long time? Like. Take F1, for example. We've just had two very great seasons, very exciting to watch, good racing, and now we're about to start a new season with completely different new cars, and nobody knows what's going to happen, if the racing is going to be better than it was or worse. We just don't know. And in the past, there used to be way more teams in F1. Long gone are the days of, you know... 40 entries per race and, and pre-qualifying every Grand Prix and it's it's a lot harder for small teams to, to rise through the ranks of F3 and F2 and F1 and join F1 because of this, this anti-dilution fee that they have now which is I, I don't know how many 100 million dollars or something. Also in other forms of racing like like WEC hypercars we've, we've got the hypercars now and I suppose they're fine you know uh, but you might remember in, in the beginning uh, they had some trouble. They were slower than the LMP2s at first and they've balanced it out a bit more now. And But, you know, sometimes I feel like they don't know what they're doing. Like they're, they're trying to attract more manufacturers, which is great. Uh, but then they're going with this whole you have to be a road car manufacturer to join Hypercar. And, and there was this fiasco with bike callers who wanted to call their car a van wall, but they wouldn't let them. And... and what the hell is up with that, man? And so, if you're not a road car manufacturer, you have to join LMP2. But LMP2 is sort of a spec thing with, like, only four four uh, manufacturers. So, what's going on there? And, and it's not like the days of, you know, Group C, IMSA, GTP. You know, that was really something. Also, a new NASCAR season started last month. I haven't really been following it. I followed the, the last couple laps of the Daytona 500, which Austin Sindrick won as a rookie, which is, of course, great, very exciting. But I have no idea if the cars of the day after tomorrow, as I call them, are better or worse than, than the last generation. Maybe you can let me know in a comment or something. But they're very different cars, is the point. And also, DTM is a good example. They've, they've basically killed it. I mean... They had a, the class one, which was really advanced, and it just became a victim of its own success. And now it's it's not even a touring car series anymore. It's been replaced by by GT3. It's just a GT3 series now. And uh, Australian supercars. There's no more Holden Commodores starting this year. They've been replaced with Camaros, which I think is a shame. I mean, Holden is an icon of Australian car history and motorsports, and if Argentine Turismo Carretera can have a car that hasn't been in production for four decades, then surely you would think they can slap a bunch of Holden Commodore body shells on those cars and go with it, but I guess they don't want to or something. And also, while, while we're on the subject of touring cars, uh, there's no World Touring Car Championship anymore. We have TCR nowadays, which, again, you know, it's fine. Don't get me wrong. The racing is good. There's, there's healthy grid sizes and all, but it's not... Just not like back in the day when we had Super Touring or Group A or, you know, those old DTM ITC cars. And same with uh, GT Racing. GT3 is, is everywhere now. And it's wonderful. There are lots of manufacturers. They can compete against each other on equal footing. Bathurst is great and, and all. But it's it's not like... You know, in the past you had GT1, you know, in 95 a McLaren F1 won against against prototypes at Le Mans. And it's just not like that anymore. You know, I mean, I could go on. Um, there used to be multiple manufacturers in F2, in IndyCar, in, in Formula Nippon, or Super Formula as it's called nowadays. And nowadays it's all the Laras, the Laras, the Laras everywhere. So, I've come up with a solution of sorts for that which i'm very proud to announce to you today 
It's called Events Related to Potential. Now, what is Events Related to Potential? Well, basically, it's kind of an alternate universe. It's, it's a fictionalized version of this, this reality that we all live in, which means there's no war in Ukraine, there's no COVID-19. You know, it's a universe that you can manipulate the way you want. So what's going to happen in events related to potential? I mean, who knows uh, where we'll take it in the future and how we'll build it. And I say we because you too can influence what happens in the alternate universe in the future. But I'll get back about that in a minute. What I'm going to do with it, first of all, is there will be a series of uh, auto racing championships. There will be different types of cars, different levels, world, national, regional. And the first championship, which will be starting soon, it's going to be a world championship. It's going to be big. It's going to be something that's never been done before. I think you'll like it. I've spent the past year and a half working behind the scenes to get everything ready for the first championship and it's almost ready to get on the way and you will be able to watch this on my new youtube channel jb gaming which i've just set up today also on my locals jabrown.locals.com and on twitch so whatever channel you want you can watch it and also starting in season two the first season will be just broadcast but in season two you will be able to participate in one of these championships and that will happen by way of role play on some forum or multiple forums i haven't quite thought that out yet but i'll tell you more about that in future updates so yeah i'm really excited for this i hope you are as well take a look at my channel jb gaming and subscribe there um, I'm keeping it separate from my main channel just in case, you know, people who don't want to be bothered by all my other rants and stuff, um, they don't have to see them. And people who aren't interested in fictional auto racing universes don't have to see that. But you can, of course, subscribe to both if you like. So it's JB Gaming on YouTube. Check out the first season. I will be back with another announcement about that. I think you'll like it. It's got Holden Commodores. All right, everyone. This has been J.A. Brown. I wish you all a great weekend. Have fun watching the Formula One uh, tomorrow. Have a great Lent if you're observing that. Uh, stop the war. See you later. It's got Holden Commodores.